Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way down to the Tomb of the Giants. Before we do, I did go ahead and farm up some Titanite chunks about 16 that's what it's gonna take for me to upgrade my armor if you're wearing heavier armor it may take a few more so do keep that in mind also i'm wearing the wolf ring for anybody that may be following along and before we go over to andre to level up a few things let's come down here to the fire keeper We're going to level up our Estus Flask to plus five. And then we're going to head to the Undead Parish and go upgrade a few things at Andre's. Let's go talk to Andre real quick. That's an odd ember you have there. Ah, I know what you're thinking, but I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves some Titanite shards. I already have four, so I'm only going to need to purchase five so that we have nine. Let's reinforce our greatsword. I decided to go with the greatsword instead of the other sword I was talking about. Now we want to modify it to make it a divine greatsword. Go ahead and reinforce it a little more. Two plus five. And then we're going to reinforce our armor as well to plus nine. I wouldn't advise anybody to make plus ten armor. It's kind of a waste of a slab. There we go. Go and get yourself, kid knight. Let's head back to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody there. Before we go down to the catacombs here, let's put on our blessed, or not blessed, <laughs> divine weapon. Ramps sleeping. Then we're just going to take this path down. Before we go any further, because it is pretty dark in here, let's put on our sunlight maggot. This will be more handy once we get down to the Tomb of the Giants. You don't need it in the catacombs, but it does help a little bit. Just kind of back away. There's, a, there's those exploding head guys again. And the reason we have a divine sword, by the way, is these skeletons would keep resurrecting until you kill the necromancer. Because we have a divine weapon and we're killing them, 
they won't resurrect their cells. They'll just die outright. No, you bastard. We'll light this bonfire. I'm not going to bother sitting at it. You can if you'd like to. I'm going to push this lever. This will open up the doorway. Also, those necromancers have a chance of dropping a skull lantern, which you can use to light your way if you don't have the sunlight maggot. But then you can't use your shield, and your shield can be very handy. These guys are just a pain. They're not necessarily hard. They don't hit hard, especially now that we have leveled up our armor and our guy as well. Just hoping to catch that necromancer, but he's a little too fast. It's okay. We can still get him. Oh, you bastard. Heal ourselves real quick. Be careful, these skeletons can parry you if you're not careful. If they're holding up their shield, don't hit them. They're just going to parry you. They're really good at it. This guy. He's walking around like he owns this place. Grab ourselves a soul. I don't bother fighting these skeletons because the floating head guys. I mean, I come back and fight them, but I don't like to be knocked around by those floaty guys. Grab another soul. Right here we can see a bonfire. We'll be getting to that shortly. First we got a push this lever it's gonna make the bridge flip so we can walk across it and now that we don't have to deal with the floaty head guys we can take out these skelly boys Trying to get a backstab on this guy, but he's not having it. Right here, if you want to, there's a spot you can fall down. And there's like two or three crystal lizards down there. I'm not going to bother with it because they disappear really fast and there's a bunch of traps down there. It's just not worth it. If you want to, go ahead. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Also, there's a trick with the crystal lizards. If they're ever disappearing on you, just exit out of the game, come back in, and they'll re reappear. I should have said that earlier to people just in case you've been struggling to get all the crystal lizards. You can always exit the game, come back in, they'll reappear, and you can try again. Be careful for these ladies right here. They have these spike traps. That'll hit you. Okay, yeah. I, I didn't know if I got that item or not. Right over here is a doorway, but we got to open it down here. Looks like the necromancer jumped down. Usually there's a necromancer over here, but... 
A lot of the times he falls off along with the skeletons and he ends up dying. Can we see an item down there? Nope, can't see an item down there. He most likely did fall to his death though. I'm gonna hit this wall, then roll. It's another spiky trap. And then here's the bonfire that I was talking about earlier. If you wanna sit at it, you can. I'm not gonna bother. I feel comfortable having eight Estus flasks. Push the lever again. It's going to turn another bridge down there. Over there is a fog wall. I'm not going to go through it because we're going to end up over there anyways. Just want to roll off here. Right there is the lever that we pushed that we pushed earlier. Good lord, words, man. Words. We're going to fall down here. We got some more floating heads. These skeletons are a pain in the ass. more skelly boys if we hit this by the way that's this is the area where that fog wall I was telling everybody like I'm not gonna bother going to because we're gonna make it there anyways land on both those skeletons if you can if not it's okay not a big deal we're gonna have a big skeleton fall down Pretty easy to take out. Get the Dark Moon Seance Ring. That'll be handy a little later. Right now it won't be. Over here we're going to have another Necromancer. By the way, I just want to let everybody know, I'm not going to be picking up um, items that enemies drop because I have every weapon that I'm going to use and it's just not worth filling up my inventory with stuff I'm just not going to use. Right here is a little trap. Just roll through it. Try not to get hit like me. We get Tranquil Walk of Peace. Pretty decent spell if you're trying to uh, PvP. And then we are back at the very beginning. So let's backtrack. Pass my doorway there. Just keep running down. We're actually going to run down to the end of these stairs here and we're going to fall off of them. We're not going to roll. We're just going to walk right off. If you walk right off, just like this, don't hug the wall too much or else it's going to kick you back and you're going to fall to your death. And then over here, just walk off. Grab yourself a green titanite shard. And then we're going to fall down again. gone with you. You'll spoil my focus.
we can go ahead and switch to our claymore here. We're going to light this bonfire. If you want to kindle it, you can. I'm just going to rest at it. No sense in um, kindling it. Not yet, at least. This is the blacksmith where we're going to give the two embers we got from the previous episode. Hmm. Why? Is that an ember from New Londo? And a fine ember it be. What do you say? Why not leave it with me? I'll give you a flame to feast your eyes upon. Yes, yes, very well. We'll get these old bones to work. <laughs> well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. <clears throat> Why, that's an ember unlike any that I have seen. A very curious pattern. Could it be the flame of the legendary witch? I know. Suppose you left that ember with me. Old Vamos would never let you down. No, not ever. <laughs> yes, splendid. Splendid indeed. My, oh my. You precious little thing. Well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. So, unfortunately, his voice recording is just ass. I don't know why they didn't re-record it or whatnot for the remaster, but I don't know. Ass Bandai Namco. We're going to have a bunch of these bone wheels. Just be careful. Take your time. Let them do their stupid spinning stuff. And then take them out. I think there's like six or seven of them over here. So try not to get too carried away with running over here. see one over there and we'll get his attention in a minute but I know that there's two over here as well just kind of take it slow because if you get multiple of them and you don't realize it you're gonna hit, get hit in the back staggered a bunch and then yeah possibly die Especially with bone wheels. They have a crazy stagger. Oh, I thought I killed you, bud. Guess not. And then if we come over here, I don't see any more bone wheels. If we come over here, we're going to have a black knight come after us. I believe he has an axe. We're just going to bring him away from the floating heads here. Arium. We got the attention of the floating heads, I think. Sweet. Got the Black Knight Great Axe. Not a bad drop. To the left, we're going to have two skeletons and a necromancer. But since we killed him, we don't have to worry about any of the other skeletons. We can kill them outright. Die, sir. We're going to fall down right here. This Black Knight was chilling up here. If you come in a different way, you can fall down here and fight the Black Knight. I don't know. I find him easier to fight when it's down here. After taking out the Bone Wheels, that is. Don't try to fight him and the Bone Wheels at the same time. That's asking for trouble right there. So we're just going to come back up here. We still have to... Do a few things up here, and then we can head down to kill our first boss of this section.
pick up another soul here. Let's go ahead and top ourselves off. No sense in not. We have a tight night demon. Be careful. Try not to get hit by him. Although he shouldn't be too hard. We fought him before. And I feel like he's a lower level now. Get some demon tight night. Along with three eyes of death. And then we're going to go in this coffin. It's going to take a good minute for the cutscene to happen but be patient and it will happen We're going to join this covenant. This is a Grave Lord's covenant. We're going to come back and uh, actually kill Lord Nito a little later into the episode. You can kind of see a little bit of him there. He's actually got a cloak once we fight him. It's pretty cool. We're going to hop back in the coffin. It's not going to take nearly as long once we hop back in the coffin for the cutscene. Okay, now that we took care of that section, we're going to come over here. We're going to run out this doorway. And this is going to just lead us back towards the catacombs. We've already been over here. We don't need to go back through there. We just need to hop down. So roll off. Grab yourself a soul. You can summon in Leroy here if you want. We really don't need to. This boss is extremely easy. In my opinion, the easiest boss in the game. Right here we got the priest set. And we also get a mace. Just going to run down.
run towards Pinwheel. It's going to be an easy boss fight. Three hits and he's done. We get the right of Kindling. We can also get the Mask of the Father, a Humanity, and a Homeward Bone. So, you probably won't get the Mask of the Father. There's three different masks that can drop. There's the Mask of the Mother, which will boost your health. Uh, the Mask of the Child, which will boost your um, your endurance, like how fast it will refill. And then the Mask of the Father, which will boost your carry weight. It's completely random. Stamina. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of the word. The Mask of the Child will boost your stamina recovery rate. Oh my goodness. I really cannot talk today. Right here, we want to come up here for an item. It's just a soul. But, like I said before, every soul counts. Every soul counts. We're actually going to level up here in a minute. At the next bonfire, I'm going to level up our vitality. Just kind of follow these shiny stones. Be careful. These guys hurt the big skelly boys. But they stagger really easily. Slide down this coffin. Grab another soul. We'll top ourselves off again. We're going to have two skelly boys here. So just be ready. Be careful of the archer, by the way. So right here with the lid to the coffin, we want to go to the right as, as far as we can and then just hang off to the right. That way we can get this humanity. If you're not worried about humanity, don't bother. Just slide down. We have patches right here. We'll talk to him in just a moment. But because we have the right of kindling, I want to show everybody how this mechanic works. Let's light the bonfire. Then we're going to go into our inventory. Use one humanity. Sit at the bonfire and kindle it once. And you'll kind of see the flame get bigger as we kindle the bonfire. We'll kindle it again. We'll get 15 Estus. And then if we kindle it one more time, we'll get 20 Estus. And then the flame will be really big. Which makes sense. Because we're using humanity to kindle it. So it's got, you know, more oomph to it. Let's go ahead and talk to Patches. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Say no. No? No? Really? Really? Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> Let's walk over to this shining stone. Trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse. That's the real treasure. <laughs> right here, we're going to get some soul items. And then we're also going to get the skull lantern. 
So if you want to use the Skull Lantern instead of the Sunlight Maggot, have at it. Also, we get a beautiful vista of um, Lost Isolith. Jeez, I can't think today. Go ahead and talk to her. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? Sure there is. We're gonna take him out. Now let's go talk to her again. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. We're going to come up here for this item. As soon as we grab it, we're going to have these weird... I, I really don't know what to call them. Bone pillars, I guess. They do have a chance to drop white titanite chunks. So if you need those, you can always farm these guys for them. There's an easier spot to uh, farm them. But... It's up to you. Got some more bone pillars. We're going to go up top. We'll hit this wall. Don't go right. We're going to go left. We're going to fall down this hole. It's going to lead us to a bunch of those big boys but we want to get all of their attention and just kind of fall down on top of all of them be careful there's one more over here as well to me that's the easiest way to take care of these guys Get as many as you can their attention and then fall down on top of them. I always do a back step and then I fall down. Get a plunging attack on them. Let's grab a large divine ember. Then head back up the ladder here. over here to the top try not to get hit by the archer over here keep going up be careful we do have another archer guy shooting at us we can't really get to him unless we have a bow we do have a bow but I feel like it's just kind of like a waste of time grab a soul Take him out. Grab this soul as well. So many souls. So many souls. Eventually we're going to pop them all. Get some more eyes of death. And then right here, we're going to slide down very carefully and get another soul. Then we're going to walk down this path. 
I, I would take it slow. It's easy to fall off here and kind of sucks if you do. Let's hop down here to the bonfire and then we're going to level up real quick. Put five levels into our vitality. And then let's go talk to Patches and say, what the fuck, man? Why'd you uh, kick us off? Oh, you! I... Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Go ahead and say no. Oh, for heaven's sake, let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive. I said I'm sorry. Wait. I know. Here, take this. It proves something, doesn't it? <laughs> Such an evil laugh. We'll see him back at Firelink Shrine a little later. Be careful for these guys. These guys absolutely suck. I hate these enemies. I, they're the worst enemies down here. I'm just going to forewarn everybody. They, they are horrible enemies. And we're not going to fight too many of them because, well, they're jerks. We're going to have a black knight coming towards us here. This one has a spear, so... And I miss my parry. It's alright. Still got him in the end. Go ahead and heal yourself. He dropped us a white titanite chunk. He always drops a white titanite chunk. Right here is another stupid dog thing. Whatever. Dog skeleton. Right here we'll come back for this item. First, we want to come down here. Grab the shield. And we shouldn't have to fight any more dog guys. Unless you absolutely want to. Then we want to roll off. I know it's scary, but there is a spot to land on. And then be very careful. This is a trap. It's more bone pillar guys. Good place to farm uh, white titanite chunks, if that's what you're trying to do. We get the silver serpent covetous ring. That will give us more souls for every enemy we kill. So if you're trying to farm up some souls, that is a good ring to wear. But we're not worried about that just yet. Not just yet. Climb this ladder. Here comes the tricky part. We're going to run by all these enemies, grab a bonfire and a few items, rest at that bonfire, turn around and make a mad dash back towards the bottom here. Here's the bonfire that we we're going to light. Go ahead and sit at it. I'm not going to kindle it. We have plenty of Estus. We still have 17 Estus. Just keep going down. Be cautious. Be cautious. It 
As long as you're carefully making your way down, even if they're chasing you, a lot of the times they will fall off to their death. Now just dash all the way over here because Leroy is going to invade us. I guess he feels disgruntled because we didn't summon him in for that immensely hard boss fight. Also, if we turn around real quick, we'll pick up his items in just a minute. You can see that this is Ash Lake down below. I'm not quite sure where we're at compared to where we were at Ash Lake. But I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Get some humanity. Get two more humanity. And then we get Grant and the Sanctus. The Sanctus is a unique shield because if you have 18 faith and you have that shield on, it'll slowly heal you. Oh, hold on. I forgot about the Crystal Lizard. Don't disappear. There we go. Um... If you have that shield on, it will slowly heal you, but you have to have at least 18 faith for that to happen. I don't find it to be very useful because you only get one kind of slowly healing item in the game, and it just doesn't heal at a fast enough rate to be viable. Take out the big guy first, then take out the archer. And we are almost done with this area. We just have one more boss, which is Grave Lord Nito. Get another soul. Tons and tons of souls in this episode. Tons and tons of souls in the last episode, too. These guys, you can farm them for the masks, so if you're looking for the mask of the father, or the mother, or the child, you can always... Oh, I thought there was a pinwheel coming after me for a second. You can always come here and farm up some masks. Matter of fact, there we go. We got the mask of the mother. Just a lucky drop there. Normally that doesn't happen. If you are going to farm up the masks, like always, I, I definitely advise using the golden um, serpent ring, the covetous gold serpent ring. I'm going to pick up this white titanite slab. Oh my god, we got all the masks. Okay, so... <laughs> Normally that doesn't happen, and I swear I'm not cheating here, uh, but that's pretty awesome. We got the mask of the father, the mother, and the child. It's pretty awesome. Just a lucky drop. He didn't drop anything. That's okay. We got all those damn masks. Also, those little babies, they can drop humanity. So if you want to farm some humanity from them, you can. Uh, but there's a way better place to farm humanity than right here. So before we drop down, we want to put on our Divine Greatsword. The reason why is because we're going to have a few skeletons down below. And we want to kill them instead of having them continually resurrect. Take a ton of fall damage here. Get the attention of these skeletons.
Uh, I always get caught by that. Always roll way too early. Be careful not to go too far because there are bigger skeletons. And we're sw switching back to our claymore now, by the way. Uh, but there are bigger skeletons that will be a little bit tougher to fight. I try to keep Nito over here. Oh, he's going to do his thingy thing. Just heal and we're going to get hit. No matter what, we were going to get hit. We were too close and we were kind of pinned in. And there you go. There's Gravelord Nito. He's got a really cool cloak, though. I, I like his cloak. We get a Lord Soul. And then we'll also get a Humanity. We're going to come over to this bonfire by his grave. We're actually going to sit at this bonfire and then use a Homeward Bone. There's an item right over here that won't spawn unless you reload the area. Let's go ahead and do that now. Right here is Leroy's set or armor. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to Firelink Shrine and end the video. I'll see everybody over there. All right, everyone. I want to start off with telling everybody thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.